Good morning. Divided we fall here. I want to show you guys some fucked up. This is my channel. I have tons and tons of, of videos. Some are videos and some are um, live. So you got to check both. See? And these are all my lives. Before it was just all the... Anyway, um, Richard Simmons is, anyway, this is the most fucked up thing I've ever seen, you guys, watch this. Are you aware of, uh, oh, I don't know what to say, um, alright, let's just go to the Sistine chat shall we? Now, here's what's bothering me. See this? What changed? Yeah. This changed. Um, Now it looks like God's trying to reach out real far, but man's not. But see, right? Can we find a good picture? Oh, you know what? I already have a picture. This is also the stuff. Oh, man. This is what you remember, guys. Let me know if this is what you remember. Okay. Um, I'll tell you, like, it, it started out, um, you know, one way. And, and now it's, this is God on the Sistine Chapel by Michelangelo. You know, it's the guy next to him, the human. Well, this little devil popped up right here. Boom, with this... God has it. First, God got a pink dress. Then he got tits. Now, what do we got? Six nine down here with rainbow hair, eating his asshole. And sorry to be gross. Say, hey, this is from the Bible, yo. And uh, look at this. He's having an orgy with children. God, in it, supposedly. It's bullshit, man. Look at his arm. Ch -ch -ch going around this new creature that's in the picture. Mandela in the picture. He never had his arm on her. I've been keeping it, an eye on it forever. And then he's got his arm around touching this child. And they're all um, naked. It's just disgusting. I don't even know what to fucking say, man. It's so fucked up. Ah, God, that is just, it's so wrong, you guys. So fucking. Wrong. I, you know, I just don't even know what to say. This is not, we didn't build this. Men, this is not of men. Video says the approval process is similar throughout Latin America. We'll meet first hand experience in each country. You have to crane your neck to get a good look at the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. But most tourists are rushed to marvel at Michelangelo's Renaissance masterpiece. All overcomes the temporary discomfort. Yeah, they walk up... After four years of back and neck-breaking toil, his work was unveiled on the 31st of October in the year 1512, 500 years ago. Uh, mm -hmm. Antonio Paolucci is the director of the Vatican Museums. Uh, five centuries uh, ago, the Pope uh, Julius II 
enter inside Cappella Sistina and can see the vault of Sistina completely painted by Michelangelo. The great work, the terrible work, was uh, finished. It was an act of almost unrivaled artistic creation. Michelangelo considered himself first and foremost a sculptor and looked down on painters and frescoes. But Pope Julius II's Notice invitation to paint the 5,000 square foot ceiling of the chapel was one Michelangelo, 33 years old at the time, could hardly refuse. He was In essence, he was learning on the job. Scrutinium direct. The Sistine Chapel is where cardinals meet for the conclave to choose the next pope, where pope. So, yeah. Oh, look at this beautiful creature next to the pope here. Isn't that nice? got wings and stuff. It's really, it's really nice. See it there? Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, bring the baby over there and let him fucking do whatever he does. But listen, um, so, yeah, so, was it any surprise that it was, uh, that it took Michael, that Michelangelo painted the Sistine Chapel ceiling when he was 33 years old? First of all, you couldn't paint that in a year. <laughs> Not one person, no way. You'd have to be laying down. I mean, even then, no way. No way. Anyway. Conduct baptisms and special prayers. I wouldn't have that psycho jump In the last half millennium, it has survived wars, political upheavals, and inclement weather with surprisingly little damage. Just one section of the fresco depicting the biblical flood is missing. In 1797, it fell to the floor following a massive explosion in the nearby Castel Sant'Angelo. Today, the greatest threat to this priceless art comes from world. those who flock to admire it. About five million people it's visit disgusting. the Sistine Chapel every year. That means five million people with sweat, with heat, with dust. The number of visitors is expected only to grow in coming years. The Vatican is planning to upgrade the current climate control system for the chapel, but officials are hesitant to turn tourists away. It's not uh, possible at this moment to limit the number of visitors of the Catholic that, that, uh, that uh, won't enter the Cappella Sistina from uh, countries of the world. Michelangelo returned in 1535 to paint the last judgment on the chapel's wall. It took five years to complete this work. A work art lovers no doubt hope will remain intact until judgment day. Wow. Ben Weedman, CNN, in the Vatican City. Insane, you. There you go. I just wanted to show you guys that.